Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using consistent deformation method. In this propped cantilever beam, there is a eccentric point load W. It is acting at a distance of A from the fixed end. Let us keep the distance between the point load and the propped end as B. The span of the beam is given as L. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and movements are 3. They are the movement MA and the vertical reactions RA and RB. The available equilibrium equations are 2. They are sigma m is equal to 0 and sigma v is equal to 0. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 3 minus 2. We will get 1. To make this beam statically determinate, we have to remove any one of these. Let us remove RB. From the point B, I have removed RB. So the point B becomes a free end. Previously, we had a propped cantilever beam, but now it is a cantilever beam. We know the formula to find Rb. P delta is equal to delta minus delta L. We can take delta on the other side. It will come in the denominator. In the point B, there is no sinking or settlement of the support. So, delta will be 0. We know that here P is Rb. So, Rb is equal to minus delta L upon delta. Now, let us find the displacement due to the load delta L. That is the deflection in the point B due to the load W. In the cantilever beam, if the point load is acting at a distance of A from the fixed end, the formula to find the deflection in the point B is W A square upon 6 A into 3 L minus A. For delta L, we have to apply that. Since the deflection is downwards, we have to apply this as negative. Now, let us find the displacement due to the unit load delta. In the direction of RB, we have to apply unit load. Then, we have to find the deflection. In the cantilever beam, if the load is acting on the free end, the formula to find the deflection is W L cube upon 3 E I. Here W is 1. So we will get L cube upon 3 E I. Let us apply that for delta. We know that the deflection is upwards. So delta will be positive. In this formula, let us apply the values of delta L and delta. Negative into negative, it will become positive. Let us take this term inversely and then multiply. We can eliminate EI. 2, 3 are 6. Finally, for RB, we have made an expression WA square upon 2L cube into 3L minus A. Now, let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find RA. RA and RB are acting upwards, so both of them are positive. W is acting downwards, so it is negative. We can take these two terms on the other side. They will come with the change of signs. For these two terms, we can take LCM. 2L cube into W, we will get 2L cube W. We know that A is L minus B. So for A square, we can apply L minus B the whole square and for A, we can apply L minus B. Here, we can use the formula A minus B the whole square, A square minus 2AB plus B square. Here, A is L and B is B. Using the formula, we will get this. Then, we can multiply these two terms. When we do that, we will get this. We can eliminate these two terms. Then we can take a negative sign inside the bracket. So this will become negative, this will become negative, this will become positive and this will become negative. Then we can eliminate 2L cube, 
minus bl square plus 4bl square we will get 3bl square we can take b outside so here it will be b square finally we have made an expression for rea now let us apply the rule sigma m is equal to 0 and find ma from the point b i am going to take movement about a in this case i am moving towards left hand side clockwise will be negative and anti clockwise will be positive rb is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that will be positive and the distance is l the load w is acting in the clockwise direction so that will be negative and the distance is a let us assume that ma is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive we can take these two terms on the other side we can eliminate this l here it will be square we can take wa outside then we will get this for both of these terms we can take lcm 1 into 2l square we will get 2l square we can take 2l square outside and then let us multiply minus a with 3l minus a we will get this we can write 2l square is equal to l square plus l square and we can write minus 3al is equal to minus 2al minus al here we have a minus b the whole square formula we know that a minus b the whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square here a is l and b is a so for this term we can write l minus a the whole square we know that l minus a is b so it will become b square we know that a is equal to l minus b so instead of a let us apply l minus b let us multiply l minus b with l we will get l square minus bl then take the negative sign inside so l square become negative and bl becomes positive we can eliminate l square we can take b outside so here we will have l plus b we know the formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b so l minus b into l plus b becomes l square minus b square finally we have made an expression for ma now we are going to draw the shear force diagram from the point a up to the point c we can use right hand side rule upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative from the point b up to the point c we can use left hand side rule upwards will be negative and downwards will be positive so we can easily find the shear force values here you can see the shear force diagram now let us find the bending moment values the point b is a simply supported end so the bending moment in the point b will be zero to find bending moment at a let us use right hand side rule clockwise will be positive and anti clockwise will be negative ma is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be negative to find the moment in the point c let us use left hand side rule clockwise will be negative and anti clockwise will be positive rb is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is b finally for the bending moment at c we will get this here you can see the bending moment diagram in this point the bending moment is zero this point is called the point of contraflexure let us make a section in this point at a distance of x from the point a let us find the moment in this point and find x let us use right hand side rule ma is acting in the anti clockwise direction so that it will be negative ra is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x we can take this term on the other side so it will become positive 
we can eliminate wb2 and l square we can take these two terms on the other side they will come inversely let us apply x here suppose we have to find the point of contraflexure from the point b we have to subtract this by l we can multiply l with this term we will get this for these two terms we can take lcm when we multiply l with this we will get this let us take the negative sign inside l cube becomes negative minus b square l becomes positive we can eliminate these two terms 3l cube minus l cube we will get 2l cube let us apply the expression now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video